the last two owners pulled out overnight. We had to send volunteers up here to take the tower pads down. Just had no idea it was going to happen that quick. For 20 years, Chair 4 at Kuchera Valley Ski Area had no one to carry. All that time, Mike Moore's been trying to get it moving again. I was afraid it wasn't going to happen in my lifetime. These are just old pictures from the original second or third year the ski area was open. People getting on the ski lift. Mike runs a bed and breakfast in Kuchara. He's filled it with memorabilia from the ski area. And this was the warming hut that got torn down. He worked at Kuchara Valley for six years, right up until it closed, and didn't want to see its history erased. The ski area actually brought them all down here, gave them to a junk shop across the street, and at the end of the year they had a sale and they were $3 a piece, so I bought them all. When Kuchara Valley's last owners left town, winter commerce left with them. We call this the world famous dog bar. Mike's B&B is just one of three businesses in town that stay open all year. Which is why Chair 4's engine revving up is such a sweet sound. And we'd like to see, you know, it just be an economic driver for the valley. Mike's with Panadero Ski Corporation. He and a team of volunteers got the lift running again last year. They hope to have it certified this spring and insured in time to open up for the 2021 ski season. It's just really exciting and everybody's starting to become a believer again. But this isn't the first step in reviving this dormant ski area. Look at these guys going. Volunteers and Werfano County raised money to open up Kuchara Mountain Park in 2017. Here come the snowboarders. That's why skiers, snowboarders, and sledders who want to huff it up the slopes can speed back down them again. We've had 50 to almost 100 people board and sledding on the weekends. Mike thinks that's a good sign that once it's open, winter businesses will come back and Chair 4 will have riders to carry once more. Brian Wendland, 9 News.